Hi there, welcome back. We are going to focus to learn more about virtual machine storage performance within this lecture. So when we are talking about the performance for a specific disks, so in the, in the previous lecture, we talked about different type of disks. Actually, what we have like OS disk, a temporary data disk. So for all of them, we also talked like we can enable actually something called host caching. So host caching is what happens is in the back end actually you have a two different type of caching which is in the back end of your infrastructure which you don't see so one is a disk cache sometimes we also refer this is as the host cache and also the block cache so so when we talk about the block cache it's completely disk caching uh, and as you leverage a specific technology refer to a blob cache and that's going to use a combination of your um, host ssds and memories to provide a provide to your virtual machine so that's a different technology so it's going to use in the back end for the blob storage and also for the disk uh, caching as we talked earlier it's not just for a type of application because not all type of applications are supported when you enable host caching let's say if it is uh, if I just enable here for my operating system so it's a OS disk so nothing but your managed disk so if I put it here as the read and write for the host caching it gets the greater performance that's good but not I, not all type of your applications are supported so make sure that if you are enabling you should be you know check that whether this kind of a caching option is supported or not let's uh, we also take an example in the previous lecture about uh, Active Directory Domain Services. If this specific VM called VM01 has that ADDS services, if that is running on this disk, uh, in this case the operating system disk, and if you enable this, so it might get corrupted the replication because we're talking about the cached uh, disk uh, type of data which is getting replicated. So it 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 goes for a inconsistency and at the end it might broke. So you need to you know focus on what type of that application whether it's gonna support it or not. And this host caching can be enabled for any of your disks, um, maybe for application disks also, so that you get that performance automatically for you. But of course the application has to be supported for you if we look at for the caching options like read and write that's going to actually read and write purpose the caching and if you choose the read only most of the applications that's supposed to just a read only because you're actually not uh, rewriting anything to the disk so read only might support and if you use a none you're actually missing that host caching options uh, which will be useful for your better uh, performance and the next thing is the type of the disk we actually when we try to create here like it if I try to you know, create a attach a new disk I'm actually getting here an option if you see here I can go for a premium uh, a SSD or standard or HDD so all these I can actually create but there is a difference actually uh, different type of the disk I can choose and and more high performance if I choose I have to pay more definitely but let's have a look on you know, what type of the disk what we have the topmost one would be the ultra so ultra disks are basically highest level it's going to be used for your uh, SAP HANA kind of you know, applications top tier databases and these things can be you know, used uh, if you use the ultra disk and you get a higher performance uh, if you see here the 160 k iops that's a huge actually and it has a capacity range from anywhere from 4 gb to 64 uh, terabytes of data and uh, coming back to other this what you have here in general disk like you have here a go for ssd or normal ssd or that's again the standard SSD and the HDD. So within the three type of SSDs, you have three different type of uh, SSD performance. Like you can expect in a standard uh, SSD like you have on your laptop, that's nothing but your standard SSD. And the premium is, you know, which offers a little bit of IOPS. So you can actually get the maximum through output of 900 MB per second. And whereas the normal uh, standard hard disk gives you just the 500 Mbps. 
and this is where you know it it actually comes the iops is going to play a key and if you see for the ultra disk you're going to actually get the 2000 that's a 2000 mb that's nothing but the 2 gb of the uh, per second copy paste can be done with the ultra disk so that's where we're going to use these sap hana or uh, kind of you know top tier databases sql urkel all that heavy workloads can be used and if you see here a max iops is 160000 that's a huge actually when compared with the 2000 iops 20000 iops uh, with you know 1600000 that's a huge actually so you have a different type of the disk but remember that the type of the disk also matters uh, for your application performance at the same time the cost also going to high from if you just choose the ultra disk versus a normal standard SSD, there's a huge difference, very similar to your IOPS, right? Of the IOPS, more you get low, that means it's it's not going to perform you better in terms of the uh, performance. Let's say you can use just a 2000 uh, or 6000 IOPS can be used for your web servers or maybe any of the enterprise applications for your development and testing purpose but the premium ssds are normally used for your production servers or sensitive workloads but ultra ultra disk are very premium and the, we would be using for heavy workloads and let's have a look on other things like the type or disk size actually also matters here so when you go for a uh, size of the gigabytes goes higher and higher you get actually higher iops that's additional point you need to know uh, look at and not all type of disks are available for you and there's a difference between the premium disks also so we talked about the disks here we actually talked about the disk types here the premium ssd all standard and hdd but if you just you know choose of one more type of the layer which is the uh, here the disk size based uh, disk size based you know performance like the standard disk is gonna call you know s4 s6 s10 similarly you have an option for p1 p2 e1 so it actually gives a different type of disk based on the performance you're gonna get it so let's say if I choose the higher capacity of the disk it's gonna change that performance uh, let's say here if if i choose the p1 is a premium most of the time we go for either p1 to you know p10 between anywhere and uh, we would be you not know, choosing different uh, type of the uh, premium hard disks premium ssds in fact these are so let's say if i want to you know go for a maximum burst uh, of 20 30 minutes i want to you know copy higher of the data with the maximum of uh, iops then i would be you not know, choosing maybe a p1 but if i want to you know better than this i would definitely go for p2 and p3 p4 all that give offers me higher um, iops that would actually helps us to copy paste and gives the higher uh, performance for my applications that are hosted on my production or maybe my own development servers so make sure that you check out and go through this link uh, for understanding more about the disk types and that performance when you compare uh, any of the disks so i hope this is useful for you make sure that you know you check out this link and try to you know work uh, and try to compare based on the iops because iops is the key here that matters uh, and that gives you the higher performance for your discs thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lecture